One item that people have requested for on the Wii U is expandable storage. So, what are we going to do about that? We're going to put in a 500 gig hard drive. This is a desktop. This is a RAID Edition 4, which is actually a pretty good drive. Um, we're going to put this in. So here we go, we have Miiverse, and you can see I've been playing Black Ops 2, which is really great. I'll definitely do a video on that later. Um, so what we're going to be using is a docking station. This is uh, a Thermaltake Black X. I use this for a lot of computer repairs. The beauty of it is, is you can dock and undock hard drives as you please. So what we're going to do is we have it hooked up to the front of the Wii U. We're going to dock the hard drive, turn the thing on, and we're going to go through the process of adding a hard drive. So here's the Wii U game pad. I'm going to move it over for us. Okay, please only connect or disconnect, blah blah blah, shut up. So it's doing a reboot here, it looks like. It just started spinning up the hard drive again. It's probably detecting saying, well wait, wait, there's nothing on here. Of course. Now we should be able to... Okay, here we go. You have connected a USB storage device that has not been set up with this console. So you, do you want to do it? Yes. Please note, you cannot use this hard drive with any other device. You must format it, and that means deleting all your stuff, guys. Um, this will delete all your stuff, blah, 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 format, yes. So now it's formatting the hard drive. And this is a very fast hard drive, guys. This is designed to be used in RAID arrays and servers. Um, it's not a consumer level drive. This is actually an enterprise level drive. Um, so yeah. So now we initiated it. Looks like it's going back to the main menu. I really hope Nintendo improves the speed because the main menu is very slow when it comes to loading. So here we go. So now we have Nintendo Land. Um, so let's go to our storage actually. I'll just pull out the stylus. Now mind you, this is a 500 gig hard drive. This is bigger than even, well, I think this, I don't even know what's the highest the PlayStation 3 goes, uh, what they offer. I mean, I know you could fit a terabyte drive in there. I've done it. All right, so what we're going to do is go to storage. There we go, data management. Move and delete data. And now it's going to show up, USB storage and system memory. So what do we have here? 25 gigs of system memory. 465 gigs on USB storage and there's no data now I don't know what you can do can we copy data let's say I want to try this let's copy well here's a big one Nintendo Land ah no you can't copy that can't copy that apparently can't copy that oh transfer all let's say uh, let's do that. All data will be, for the software, will be moved to USB. Let's say, moving. Mind you, this is USB 2, so that's like the slowness there. So now I just offset um, 200 plus megs of data off of the internal storage onto a hard drive. What I will be doing is I'm going to be building my own little storage device. So here, so now it's no longer on this, it's on the uh, hard drive. So if we go back, go back to USB storage, you'll see Nintendo Land is now there with all of our information. And you can transfer it back, which I'm going to do because this hard drive is not going to be used permanently on this machine. So now it's going to be copied back, and I th it deletes it off of wherever it is you're copying from. Um, so it is a, a cut and paste kind of deal. Um, not too slow. I mean, it's much faster than using a flash drive on a PlayStation 3, I'll tell you that. My initial impressions, by the way, guys, um, there's a lot of, unfortunately, there's a lot of similarities between this and the PS3 that I didn't like. 
uh, downloading updates takes way too long um, right now and I, I'm betting that's because the system just came out so you know you, you expect those growing pains I just hope Nintendo doesn't let it stay that way they have to improve the speeds I mean it's wireless and it's sitting right next to the wireless router um, that's 300 theoretical megabits per second transfer speeds my internet is a 35 over 35 so I mean it shouldn't take that long to download updates I'm used to downloading you know like uh, OS ISOs in literally 15 minutes or less it, it took two hours to download that uh, first update so it was faster copying it from the memory onto the hard drive but it seems like it's slower transferring it back so the memory must be like very crappy write speeds. As I said, it's the enterprise drive, so it's the drive isn't the slowdown, it's, it's the interface. If not, it's got to be the flash memory that's slow. Now, unfortunately, there's no demos, and I'm not planning on buying a game anytime soon, so I can't show you downloading it from the system onto the hard drive and running it off. I will do that in a future video, hopefully. Um, so here we go. So the data has been moved to the system memory. As you can see, there's no more stuff on the hard drive. Um, and all of our data is back on the main drive. If you guys want to add me as a friend, uh, my Miiverse is uh, Jack the Bomb, uh, as always. Um, but yeah, definitely liking the system. I, I have to get myself a Pro Controller because um, this tablet isn't that great for... I mean, I'm too used to the PlayStation 3 controller. I mean, this is mine right now. I went and I got a camouflage one, as you can see. I'm too used to this type of control layout for Call of Duty, because that's all I've played on Call of Duty. So, that's it, guys. Look out for future Wii U videos. If you have any requests, please drop a comment below.